okay so in this video we are going to solve question based on chapter number 13 ac circuit so here uh, first of all we are going to solve a very short answer that is vsa the questions under this are comes for one marks the first question is define capacitive reactance so when we have only capacitor and the ac supply then that circuit will be purely uh, based on uh, capacitance so the total resistance offered by the circuit will be capacitive reactance that is denoted by xl so the capacitive reactance of a capacitor is defined as ratio of rms voltage across the capacitor to the corresponding rms current the capacitive reactance of a capacitor is defined as ratio of rms voltage across the capacitor to the capac uh, corresponding rms current because reactance is nothing but what a resistance okay and uh, if we will apply a normal ohms law means our v is equals to ir then v by i okay v by i so here you will find the ratio of what v by current voltage by current just saying instead of only voltage by current what we have to say rms voltage across the capacitor to the corresponding rms current okay a charge next question is a charge 10 microfarad capacitor so what they have given value of capacitor is connected to a 81 my, uh, milli henry inductor so value of inductor is given which is denoted by l what is angular frequency of free oscillation of the circuit so what they have given value of capacitor means capacitance that is c what they have given 10 micro micro denoted by mu farad f so this micro means mu is nothing but 10 to the power minus 6 so it will become c is equals to 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad then value of inductor is given that is inductance l is equal to 81 milli henry milli 10 to the power minus 3 what do we have to calculate angular frequency we have to calculate which is denoted by omega okay which is denoted by omega and it is given by 1 by under root lc this we have already solved in our previous sections so omega is equal to 1 by root lc so l we have c we have just substitute here so 81 is nothing but square of 9 so you can write 9 then this is minus 3 plus 1 minus 6 minus 3 minus 6 how much it will be minus 3 minus 6 it will be minus 9 minus 9 plus 1 will be 10 sorry minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8 so 10 to the power minus 8 ka square root means like this So this two 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 one the and two four the. That's why we got ten to the power minus four. Then one by nine is nothing but one point one, and so on. So one point one into ten to the power three rad per second. Now we will solve our third question. State equation for impedance. Okay, impedance. we have to uh, find that equation uh, we just have to state not we have to derive it in an ac circuit so z is given by under root r square plus xl minus xc square where this xl is inductive reactance and xc is capacitive reactance so this is resistance offered by inductor this is resistance offered by capacitor and this is resistance offered by resistor in lcr circuit so impedance of circuit is represent the effective opposition offered by inductor capacitor and resistor 
when they are connected in series to the flow of ac current the next question is fourth one in lcm series circuit so here we are basically uh, studying a series circuit in lcm series circuit what is the condition for current resonance okay so we have to write condition for current resonance so at a resonant frequency fr means whatever frequency where they will going to have a natural frequency will going to interact so at a resonant frequency fr xl is equal to xc means inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance when we will do this in this equation obviously both are same so this bracket will going to be zero zero square will be zero and r square plus zero will be only r square so root of r square will be r so what you will find z is equal to r so in this it will become uh, that whole resistance is offered by only the resistor and the current i not will be what i not will be voltage by resistance that is emf e not by z and z is nothing but r which is equal to e not by r so it is a maximum current at this moment you will get maximum current and that is nothing but condition for current resonance state any one characteristic of parallel lc that is inductor capacitor ac resonance circuit now here i have uh, given five characteristic you have to learn any one which you will be you have to write any one which is which will be easy for you so first is resonance occur when xl is equal to xc okay when we uh, resonance will occur in that circuit when inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance resonant frequency will be fr equal to 1 by 2 pi under root lc impedance is maximum okay that impedance is maximum current is minimum because the resistance is maximum obviously current will going to be decrease when alternating current of different frequencies are sent through the parallel resonant circuit it offer very high impedance the current of resonant frequency and reject it now however it allows current of the other frequencies to pass through it and hence called rejector circuit okay so these are the characteristic of parallel circuit if you could remember your previous question there we have written current is maximum because this is lcr in series and in parallel circuit what we have current is minimum and impedance is maximum so parallel lc ac resonant circuit behave as a rejector circuit last question uh, second last question what is relation between average current and rms current over half cycle so they in textbook they have not given the direct answer of this so first of all what we have to do average current which is denoted by iav and rms current denoted by irms so average current is given by what 0.637 i not that is 2 by pi i not and i rms is given by i not by root 2 so from here i can find value of i not what i will get i not is equals to root 2 i rms so i will substitute i not in this above, above equation what i will get i average is equal to 2 by pi 2 by pi and what is value of i not root 2 i rms root 2 i rms so this is what required us now our last question if the peak value of alternating emf is 15 volt what if the peak value of alternating emf is 15 volt what is mean value over a half cycle what do we have to calculate mean value over 
half cycle and what they have given peak value peak value means a maximum value if i'm talking about peak value of emf then maximum voltage if i'm talking about peak value of uh, current then maximum current so here if peak value of alternating emf is given okay so emf denoted by e and here peak that's why not okay is equal to 15 volt what we have to calculate mean value over half cycle means average value over half cycle so average e average is equal to 0.637 e not similarly if they will ask for current then instead of ev eav there will be i okay because this value is just because of 2 by pi So E not is given 15. Just substitute when you will multiply both the uh, numbers. E A V that is average or mean value over half cycle is given by 9.548 volt. So here we have ended with very short answer of AC circuit.